you want to do interesting and important work, if you want to do work that matters, if you want to strengthen your skills, if you want to work with experienced prosecutors, if you want to be introduced to and learn about the litigation process, you will want to volunteer at the United States Department of Justice, the nation's litigator, as a legal intern. We have a lot of internships. More than 1,800 interns join us every year, working on important matters. In fact, many department attorneys started their careers at the department as a volunteer intern. Law students from all over the country compete for these positions. I'm Trisha Philback, Assistant Director in the Office of Attorney Recruitment and Management. Thank you for joining me today and other students in the Twitterverse who have tweeted their questions about the hiring process, seeking tips on how to maximize their odds of being selected for an internship. Today, I'm going to answer your tweets and highlight tips you can take with you to help you better leverage your chance for an opportunity at DOJ. Our first tweet comes in today from John at Lawman24. John asks, I missed every deadline to apply as a 1L. Can I apply as a 2L? Yes, absolutely. And this leads to my first tip. Apply early. And I do mean early. Department offices begin accepting applications for volunteer interns four to five months in advance of your actual start date. So, for example, if you're interested in a summer position at DOJ, you would want to apply in December. For fall positions, you would apply in May or June, and for spring positions, you would apply, believe it or not, at the beginning of the fall semester in August and September. Many of the department's 94 U.S. Attorney's offices begin considering applications on a rolling basis in December for summer positions and often have made their selections by January. Why so early? Department offices need to make their selections early to allow ample time, usually six to eight weeks, for a suitability review that must be completed before you begin work. The suitability review typically consists of a credit check, a review of the security forms, a fingerprint check, and a check of prior employers. Our next question comes in from Katie at Katie Law. Do I apply to any office I'm interested in? My suggestion and my second tip is this, be strategic. Almost every department office has one or more opportunities for volunteer interns. You will find a listing of volunteer internships throughout the department on our website at www.justice.gov slash legal careers. More than 60% of the volunteer interns joined one of the 94 U.S. Attorney's offices located around the country. Washington, D.C., department headquarters for many of the department's litigation divisions, has the largest number of available opportunities and welcomes students who are from all over the country. We recommend doing a first cut by geography. During the academic year, opportunities are generally dictated by your law school's location, though. For the summer, focus on locations where you have a link to the area. You grew up there, you have family there, you're planning on moving there, or you're, maybe your spouse is from there. Then, check to see how many internship opportunities the office has, the focus of the work they do, when they start accepting applications, whether they favor first, second, third year or LLM students, whether they will or will not accept applications by email, or whether or not they require U.S. citizenship. You must be a U.S. citizen for the Criminal Division, the National Security Division, the Executive Office for Immigration Review, and the United States Attorney's Offices. Once you have figured out which offices are a good match for you, go to their website and learn more about their mission and the focus of their work. Our final question comes from Paul. What can I do to stand out from all the other candidates? That's a great question, Paul, and tip number three is a great place to conclude. Tailor your cover letter. Every office in the department that offers volunteer internships does their own hiring. Each office has a different mission and does different work. Thus, they look for different things when they review applications. To just give you two examples, this DOJ prosecutor said, I look for indicators that the student has been in a challenging environment, sales, Peace Corps, Teach for America, because we're an office of aggressive prosecutors and are looking for litigating potential. Another intern manager says, my ideal is someone who can write well, has decent grades, has worked hard, has juggled a lot of balls, is self-directed and self-reliant, and has substantial work experience in a variety of jobs. So you can apply to every office with the same resume and cover letter and be successful because the components are very different and these internships are highly sought after. During the academic year, offices typically receive five to ten applications for each opening. For summer positions, it's not unusual for an office to receive 100 or more applications for each opening. Larger offices in popular cities such as New York and San Francisco often receive 500 to 1,000 resumes for summer internships. 
For many of the department's offices, the cover letter figures prominently in their selection process. The department is a mission-driven organization, so all things being equal, an office will lean toward a candidate who conveys knowledge of and enthusiasm for the work of the office, as well as makes a connection between what the office does and what the candidate brings to the position. As one of the intern managers told me, I look for students who are smart enough to formulate a cover letter to show the match with my office. Ideally, your cover letter should be no longer than one page. Highlight what you bring to the table, relevant clinics or experience and skills that tie into the office's mission. You want a letter that conveys enthusiasm, a contributory attitude, and one that makes a connection between your skills and what the component is seeking. For example, if you're applying to an office which is located in DC that focuses on immigration issues and emphasizes the importance of strong writing skills, you would want to highlight in your cover letter your strong interest in immigration issues, your work for an immigration clinic, and the fact that you got an A in legal research and writing. You would also mention any geographic hooks, such as you're attending law school in California, but you grew up in DC and have family there. In addition to just listing the items, make a connection for the reader as to how these experiences would be of use to them. If you're applying to an office that focuses on trial work, you would highlight different experiences and coursework depending on the mission of that particular office. And I know you've heard it before, but any spelling and grammatical errors are automatic eliminators since it speaks to your professionalism and attention to detail. Follow-up doesn't hurt, particularly if you find you're going to be in the area and be available for an interview. Or let's say you just got great grades and they're worth bragging about. So to summarize, apply early, four to five months in advance. For summer position, December isn't too early, but March is probably too late. Be strategic. Be smart about geography and apply to offices that are a good match for you. And tailor your cover letter. DOJ is a mission-driven organization, and each office wants to hire individuals who can show a demonstrated interest in and a commitment to that mission. We encourage you to apply and join an organization where you will gain excellent experience, do great work, and assist on matters of national significance. Additional information can be found on our website at www.justice.gov legalcareers. Thank you.